Hey guys, Andrew coming at you, and in this one I thought I'd talk about my experience doing yoga for about 30 days as a guy that does yoga. Um, I've never really, my experience with yoga has, has been that I always would start it. I'm more of a runner, and I've always enjoyed running, and I lift a little bit, but I would always start yoga, but I, I never was that consistent with it. Like Sometimes it could go four or five days. And I decided this time I really wanted to try to do yoga every day. And then I said, let's try to do this. I woke up about, f I'm in my fifth week now. So it's got to be about just over 30 days at this point. And what I did was I found things on YouTube that I really enjoyed. Uh, a couple videos. I probably have five or six videos on a YouTube playlist that I've been doing. They're between 50 to 20 to 25 minutes long. And what I do is get up right at 6 in the morning kind of start to wake up and then force myself by 6 30 or so to start doing yoga it would be 15 minutes of yoga 20 25 minutes my first week i did six days my second week i did six days in a row my third week i did it every day and my fourth week i did every day i always did something so even if i got into bed at night or something and i would miss the yoga exercise i took five ten minutes to do some of my stretches the reason being it's just hard on Saturdays when I do long runs to maybe get my body to feel flexible. So that's what I decided to try to do. And I've noticed some small changes, but they're definitely changes that I want to talk about. Uh, the, the first change is I feel like right away from doing yoga, it's a very decreased anxiety. I already run it and running is such a good tool and a positive tool to de-stress and to not have anxiety. But yoga really complements it. Uh, I usually do my runs in the afternoon and doing the yoga in the morning, it just gave me that 15 to 20 minutes of quiet time because I realized I'm someone that needs quiet time to kind of get started. I used to just wake up, get ready, and then go to work. And it's really nice having that 15 to 20 minutes for myself to just kind of relax and just very slowly and calmly get into work. I've really enjoyed it. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, so I, I definitely recommend that as a bonus. I've noticed that I go with the flow a lot more. Uh, things have, and it didn't happen right away. Probably the first two weeks it didn't happen. But by week three or four, I would find that stressful things or stressful situations would happen to me, and I had a lot more patience. So I say definitely from the yoga, I have found that I've had a lot more patience. It has helped with my running a lot. Uh, like today I wanted to run, my legs just felt terrible, but it's usually my legs feel terrible after my long run. Uh, but this one has done much better. I mentioned in a previous video that when I quit snooze, I had, had gained weight uh, or something that had nicotine, depending on who's watching this. And when you quit, you can gain an average of 10 pounds uh, or four or five kilograms. And that happened to me. And I'm working on dieting now and I am starting to lose the weight. But what yoga allowed me to do was to just to kind of accept my body and accept where I am and not stress so much about it. And that really helped because I was always doing yoga in the morning, plus still exercising. And so I just kind of found a peace with it and just more accepting of my body. And that comes to doing the stretches and things like that as well, because sometimes my body doesn't want to do these stretches the way they want to. I noticed that I got strength too. So maybe I couldn't do a downward dog or hold it that long or a plank, but I noticed throughout the week I got a little bit better. I didn't do one of those 30-day challenges, like I said, where I did the different yoga stuff every week. I just picked five to six that I really liked because I wanted to keep doing the same movements. And I can touch my toes. And once I've noticed that my two sides are different. I was doing with an injury that was in my foot that seemed to be where my hip is. Now, it's still a little bit sore, but I also feel that I've gotten much better. It seems to be that I feel less pain, so that's really, really good. So I'm very happy about that. So I definitely recommend that as well as a, as a positive. So overall, what am I going to do? Am I going to continue to do yoga or not? I have decided that I'd like to continue to do yoga. I think that it has been very beneficial to my overall sense of well-being. Uh, I, I noticed that I feel much more positive, much more happy, go much more with the flow, and I, I've, it's reduced stress a lot. And it makes sense, I guess, to just to reduce the stress in the body, and I think it helps me become a better runner. Uh, it just makes sense, and the best thing about it is I've gotten these benefits, like I said, from doing 15 to 20 minutes a day, 
And he figured that adds up throughout the week, being able to do that. And what I found to help me, since I wasn't able to continue doing yoga constantly all the time and I always would fall out of it, is that for me it was very beneficial to do it after. Um, it was beneficial to do it in the morning is what I mean. So it was beneficial for me to do it first thing in the morning. So that's what I have for you today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you can give me a like. And uh, I try to put more content out there like this. And if you feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you've experienced uh, the benefits of yoga, please tell me below. Uh, the reason I did this video is because I looked and I saw some people that did weight loss videos, but there wasn't a lot of people that really talked about how they felt doing yoga for 30 days. I can't say on the map if it's exactly 30. It might have been 31, 32, uh, but it's definitely been over 30 days now. I'm very happy and I'm planning on continuing. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.